in today's video, we will to learn how to do a VLOOKUP in a multiple sheet with just single formula. Okay. So here, what we are going to do, we will be searching this value, a team member name in the sales sheet and we'll be searching for the value of target achieved one. And if we get the result, if it's get match, then a result should come in the this B2 cell. If this employee is not under the sales team, then our formula should jump to the support seat and start searching for the employee under support seat. And if the support seat get match, then the result should come up over here. And lastly, if the user is nowhere in the sales, nor in the support, then we should get a value as no user found. So, before doing that, let's see how normal VLOOKUP works. So, for normal VLOOKUP, we use this VLOOKUP bracket open, then the lookup value that is e A2 comma, then the table error that will be our sales range where we want to search our data comma then the column index number where our result is so our result is target achieved so the column index will be one two and third one from the selected range so we'll be writing over here three comma then go for appropriate match and false for the exact match you can uh, use one and zero as well so we'll be using zero for the exact match and once you add the with the enter you will get the result you can see and and the uh, answer is eight two eight so this is what we got over here and if we just drag the formula down see here we are getting an error uh, because this name are not under sale this name are from support see so what we used to do over here we have to again add the vlookup formula for the support for this cell just to avoid that and uh, what we want we want our formula to run the vlookup under sales and if we get the value match then the result should come up over here but if the value doesn't match then we should not get this any this our formula should jump to the support and start searching under support C. So to do that, we will be taking we will be taking help of if error. Okay, so let's see what if error is. So if error, sorry, if error, okay, if error does like it will search for the value and if that match, then it will give you the result. If it doesn't, then it will give you whatever you will write over here. So let's do it in a practical way for the better understanding. So if error, we want to search the value for VLOOKUP. So if error, VLOOKUP, then you have to add the normal VLOOKUP formula. So we'll be adding A2, then the range for the sales state then comma then three because the result are from the third column then comma then zero or, or false and bracket close now we have completed our value side now if you add the comma c now the value if error so uh, if error formula says search this and if you can't search, find and uh, if you're getting an error, then we will instruct our form as well to again do the VLOOKUP. 
at this time we'll be doing the lookup for the support range okay then comma again for the support our result is in the third column so three and then a segment zero and bracket close and one more time because we have a 22 bracket so two bracket close and enter and let's drag this see so this is how if error works so our if error has done the lookup and when it gets the result it's given a job then for the any side for the error it has done an another lookup here and it has given us the result but here the match we have gotten any why because this person is not from the sales and nor from the support that's why we got an any so to avoid this what we have to do we have to add the third layer so these are the first one second one and the third one will be if the result is not found under the sales and support then we should get an text value as no user form and to do that what we are going to do we have to add an if error between this both the we look up okay so let's write the formula again we'll be writing equal if error then we look up a2 comma will be first we'll do a search under sales third column zero now our formula will search this and if it gets error then again it will run in if error formula and again we look up but this time we'll be doing the lookup for support so let's select the support range comma third column comma zero and bracket close now comma now you can see if error seen that value if error now what you want it's this two look up complete but still we can't find the result so we want it should give us as in text message no user found as it is a text message, so we have added this under the double inverted comma and just close the bracket one, two, because we have opened the two brackets and hit enter. And let's drag this, fill down, and here you go. You can see Matt is not from the sales, not from the support, so we have got no user found. If we remove any of the user from your C, no user file. So our VLOOKUP works like search under series, search under support. If nothing found, then no user found. So in this way, you can do a multiple C lookup. You can also do this with the multiple Excel and oh, just avoid and you can just save your time to doing a uh, multiple v lookup for the multiple sales your one formula will work for all